Hey guys, this is the top five tweaks of May 2013. Now these are all new, they're all compatible with iOS 6 and all iPhones, and they all work great. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one is called Axis. What it basically does is instead of just having a camera grabber, you now have five icons to choose from that you can just slide up and open up right into. So you can modify them to the applications of your choice. You know, if you want to have messages right here, phone, something really quick that you could just slide into. I think it's a great idea. I mean, it's very convenient and it just works so well. Number two is Jelly Lock. Now, Jelly Lock is really convenient, except I can't show you the full application. I actually have an older version because the Mod My Eye repo wasn't working for me, so I couldn't download it. But this is a free tweak and it resembles Android's, you know, Jelly Bean Lock screen. And right now I only have two icons, but you can put several applications and you can change the color. Uh, the size, just many things, and you know, it works, it's very fluid. You can't take this outside of the circle, but you know, it works, and I absolutely love it. If I could get the newest version, I'd be using it daily, but definitely check it out. It's on the Mod My Eye repo completely free. Now, this tweak I really like, it's called Sub Icons. The O is a zero, and to enable it, you do have to actually use Activator, so there's many ways to do it, but I just did it with a left swipe on the status bar. You get this little icon menu with six different icons that you can modify, just like on the lock screen, that you can go ahead and open it up real quick and be inside the application. So no matter where you are in which application, say I go into settings and slide, I'm there and I can quickly go into Cydia, you know, you can enable it using many different methods. So definitely a cool tweak, completely free. Number four is called Luna. Now in the notifications menu, when you drag down, you can enable and disable do not disturb mode. So instead of having to go into settings, you can just go into here and conveniently drag it down. Boom. You can enable it, turn it off right there. It is $2. So I'm not sure if it's worth getting for most of you, but I find it very useful and saves just a little bit of time. Now, lastly, here is mini player. You may have seen this little thing to the left of my screen. It's actually the mini player tweak. And you know, just like the name suggests, it's a very mini music player. Tapping on it, you can actually play music and turn it off and, you know, switch songs and get it out of the way real quick. And it works. Now it works in any application, as you can see right there. You don't even have to have it in any specific place. You can move it around, you know, if I want to put it up here, boom, there it is. So very interesting. At $199, I definitely think it's worth it. I think it'd be pretty cool to play around with this. I uh, just have a little music player anywhere I want. You know, definitely check that out. Anyways, guys, that's five top tweaks of May 2013. You know, stay tuned for more. Just thought I'd bring you this cool little video with five awesome tweaks. Have a great day, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Peace.